welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline. I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have another wish list video for you guys. I like to do these like once a month just to see what's new out there, what I find interesting, um, maybe what you're looking at, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this month I have another Sephora wish list. I kind of rotate through between Sephora and Ulta and Target because they're the places I tend to shop and they tend to have like a wide range and like all the new stuff between those three stores. So I find that those are the great places to shop. Sephora has a ton of new stuff right now, tons of new brands. So let's just hop right in. So the first brand, new brand they have is LYS Beauty, and it seems like it's going to be like a little bit on the cheaper side and stuff. Um, and one of the things that stuck out to me was their Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I've seen a couple people use this here on YouTube and it looks beautiful. It says it's a luxurious, clean skin care infused serum foundation with buildable light to medium coverage and array of shades, which is what I like. That sounds great to me. It looks like it has 35 different shades, which is a pretty good shade range. It definitely has lots of variations and tones and deepness and all that fun stuff. Um, but it just looks really pretty. The packaging looks gorgeous and it sounds right up my alley with the skincare, the, you know, light, medium coverage. It says it has a natural finish, so it sounds like everything I want. It has really good reviews. It has like four and almost a half stars for 183 reviews, which is pretty good. So definitely would be curious in picking up this foundation. And again, it's a good price point. It's only $22, which for a foundation at Sephora, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, something that's not quite as cheap, but still looks gorgeous. This is the Armani Beauty Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer Highlighter. I know people love their like Armani Beauty's Sheer Glow, found is it their Sheer Glow Foundation? Uh, or no, they're Luminous Silk, sorry, they're Luminous Silk Foundation. And I know they make great products. They're just kind of expensive, <laughs> but that's what you get for like a luxury beauty brand. I mean, Armani is like luxury beauty, um, but this looks gorgeous. It just looks like a really pretty liquid highlight. I'm assuming you could probably use this all over your face as well. It says it's a multi-purpose liquid highlight, bronzer, blush, and blush with a lightweight sheer coverage formula that delivers radiant dewy makeup look. Uh, let's see, what does it say how to use? Yeah, it says you can mix it into your foundation, layer under foundation for a subtle lit from within glow, or you can apply it on top of your foundation as like a highlight. But it just looks really pretty. It has a couple different colors. They don't show it like on any super deep skin tone, so I don't know how it would work if you have like a darker skin tone which kind of sucks, but it looks really pretty. Um, and it seems like it has a few different shades to choose from, which would be fun. Um, okay, so the next thing is a scent. It's a perfume oil. This is from Nest New York, which Nest makes great uh, diffusers and candles. They smell amazing. They are on the more expensive side, but they smell so good. They have great uh, scent throws and just really nice scents. And so they came out with these, I know they've had like perfumes too, but they came out with these perfume oils, which a, a perfume oil would last longer on your skin than a normal perfume. And this one sounds beautiful and right up my alley. This is the South Pacific Sandalwood perfume oil. And I love sandalwood. So that's earthy and woody, uh, warm wood. Um, it says escape to uh, the Arborist Isle in the South Pacific with this nourishing perfume oil featuring the concentrated essence of island sandalwood, fresh violet leaves, and earthy vintner blended with a baboa, baobab, sorry, with baobab oil for a formula that melts into your skin, leaving behind a long lasting fragrance. That sounds perfect and beautiful. The bottle looks beautiful. It is on the more expensive side. It's $98 for an ounce, but you probably only need like a drop of it on your skin to get the scent. It does also come in a mini roller ball. It's $35. Um, perfume's just expensive. It just is what it is, but this just looks beautiful. And like I said, a perfume oil is gonna last longer. So I don't mind paying that much money for a perfume that's gonna last a lot longer and you probably don't even need a lot of it. Um, so the next thing on my list is another Armani Beauty. This is their Luminous Silk Glow Setting Powder. I'm always looking for a good setting powder. This one's super expensive though, but it looks, again, gorgeous. This is $64. I probably wouldn't buy a $64 setting powder, 
but you know, maybe if like your wedding's coming up and you want to glow, this might be like a really pretty setting powder for like that kind of stuff. On a regular basis, I probably wouldn't buy this, but just to look really pretty. Um, it says the long wearing setting powder that provides a flawless radiant finish. Again, just looks really pretty and you're paying for, partly you're paying for like the brand name as well, um, but it does look like it would be really pretty. Again, the shade range isn't great. There's not a lot of shades. Um, I don't know how like opaque these would be. Like it says it's translucent lightweight setting powder. So you might be able to get away with some of these shades if you have a deeper skin tone, but I'm not sure. It does just look like a really pretty luminous setting powder though. I know I'm going through these a little bit quickly, but there's a lot. So I just want to like show you all the new stuff that I have been looking at. <laughs> Um, so the next thing is from LYS Beauty again. Uh, this is the Shakur Skin Gripping Serum Primer. Again, this is on the cheap side, it's only 20 bucks, which um, you can definitely get good primers from the drugstore for cheaper than that, but it's not quite as expensive as some like high-end brands, if that makes sense. So it's definitely a good price point. I think this is like a great price point for also to have, or Sephora to have now. Um, it says it's a gripping, Serum face primer that balances the look of skin, minimizing the look of enlarged pores, and brightens the look of hyperpigmentation. So I know it has some skincare in here. I don't know what kind of skincare it has. Oh, it has niacinamide, AHA fruit blends, and a grapefruit extract. So that's interesting. You know, maybe if your skin doesn't do well with niacinamide, though, I might not be a great one for you. Um, I find that when it's in a product like this, niacinamide is fine on my skin. Um, and honestly, it's going to be one of the last steps in your skincare routine, so it probably won't penetrate that much, especially if you're using like a cream and stuff underneath. I don't know how much of the skincare benefits you're going to get, but it looks like a really pretty primer. Um, I've never tried a gripping primer. I've always been interested in them. And this one sounds really nice because it's kind of sounds like it's more hydrating, which I need the hydration. So it looks really pretty. And again, the price points are just awesome. Okay, a self tanning product because you know, summer's coming up and maybe you're feeling a little pale like I am. I wore shorts for the first time this weekend and my legs looked real pale. So um, this would help. This is the Isle of Paradise self tanning body butter. Um, it's $25 and what I found really interesting was that it's a body butter. Um, it has four stars, which is pretty good. And so it looks like you just kind of apply it like you would a cream. It says it's an ultra hydrating, gradual self tanning body butter with color correcting benefits to even skin tone while leaving skin with an instant illuminating finish. That sounds awesome and exactly what I love. I love a good gradual tanner. Um, I'm curious to see how this one smells because some gradual tanners don't smell the best. My favorite is the Tan Lux, the gradual. It smells really good and it works really well. So I'm always looking for another uh, self like a gradual self tanner. For $25, it's really not that bad. I think the, gra the Tan Lux one's more expensive than that. And I've heard great things about I Love Paradise. I've just never tried any of their stuff. So definitely would be interested in trying that for the summer. Okay, the next thing is a skincare product. Uh, this is the Ula Hendrickson Wrinkle Blur Bakuchiol Eye Gel Cream. So I don't use an eye cream. I just kind of use my moisturizer around my orbital bone as my under eye cream, but I do love a Bakuchiol. Bakuchiol is like supposedly a natural form of retinol. That's what I've been using on my skin lately instead of retinol. And so I was really curious about this one specifically for your eyes. Um, I tend to just take my Bakucha on again, kind of put it around my orbital bone and it seems to do okay. This one's specifically for your eyes. So that'd be really interesting because you know, I'm always looking for anti-aging, that kind of stuff, but that's not as harsh as like a retinol. I know La Hendrickson always has really good products. Uh, so this one seems really interesting. It is $49. That is an expensive eye cream. Um, does not say how big this bottle is. Um, so I don't know, like, are you only getting half an ounce? Are you gonna get a full ounce? Like it looks like a pretty big bottle, like in the pictures, but you can never really tell. $49 for an eye cream either way is still really expensive. I'm just curious like how big that bottle is, but it's cool to see like a Bakuchiol specifically specific eye cream now. All right, so the next thing is from Bare Minerals and this is their original liquid mineral foundation broad spectrum. Um, and it says it's new. I feel like they've had this foundation for a while, 
but it says it's new on Sephora, so I'm including it. It looks gorgeous. They have a bunch of shades. It looks like they have 30 shades, and it looks really pretty. It says it's a clean vegan foundation with 88% naturally derived ingredients that has been shown to visibly improve skin texture, reduce the look of pores instantly, and over time, it's got a medium natural finish coverage and stuff like that. So it looks really pretty. I've been kind of like getting in more to Bare Minerals. I love their, uh, God, what's it called? It's a tinted hydrator, like a uh, sunscreen thing. I'll put the name of it right here and like pop a picture up. I love that. And I've been trying one of the bronzers recently and I've been loving it. So I'm curious about one of their foundations and this one looks really nice, really good. 35 bucks, which is not bad for like a more high-end foundation. And if it's a little bit better for your skin, even better. Okay, the next thing is for your body again. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Pro Retinol Body Butter. Now I just talked about how I'm not using retinol on my face. I probably wouldn't use one on my body like right now, but maybe if I start using retinol on my face, I'll use one on my body as well. But I found this really interesting because, you know, you want your face to look all smooth and uh, get those anti-aging benefits, but you want your body too. And there are not many products out there that have like skincare ingredients like retinol or AHAs or any of that kind of stuff out there for your body, but it'd be good for your body skin too. So I found this one really interesting. It says it's a lusciously whipped body butter infused with gentle and effective pro retinol for smoother, firmer looking deep hydrated body. Um, so that sounds great. It sounds like it's gonna be like really hydrating for your body, but also, you know, if you have any problem areas or anything like that, it would help to smooth those out. So it just sounds really interesting. And I just put it on here mostly because I had never seen a body butter with retinol in it before. So I thought that was interesting. Okay, the next thing is a hair mask. This is the Orbe Moisture and Control Deep Treatment Hair Mask. So Orbe came out with just like a whole bunch of different lines. And the one that looked like it would be good for me was this kind of like teal green blue color line. That's all this like moisture and control. I have very curly dry hair. So I need as much moisture as I can get, especially here in Colorado. So this one looked really great. I actually, I got my hair done a couple weeks ago and I'm pretty sure they used this mask on my hair and it worked really, really well. It smelled amazing but it's expensive. It's $63. It sounds like it's a pretty big tub. It's eight and a half ounces. So it's a pretty big size tub, but still they make great drugstore price hair masks. So, you know, maybe if you want to treat yourself, if your hair is like really damaged, this might be a good option, but it's see, it was awesome on my hair and it seems awesome in general. It says it's a silicone free mask that deeply conditions, softens and repairs wavy, curly and coily hair. So I love it. I, this whole line looks really interesting. Orbe is just so expensive that it's hard for me to justify sometimes. Like the mask and like the serums maybe, but their shampoo and conditioner, just like normal conditioner are really expensive. And I just like can't justify it because they make such great drugstore products for curly hair. So, but it looks really interesting and the Orbit product do smell amazing. Okay, a tool for your face. This is the Foreo UFO 2. So I've always had one of these UFO things and they're basically like, it's like a mask tool, if that makes sense. You put basically a sheet mask like on this tool and use it on your face. Um, it just seems really interesting. It says it's a skincare enhancing device featuring thermotherapy, cryotherapy, T-sonic pulsations and eight LED lights to enhance the efficacy of serum, serums and face masks. So basically it has all these other like heat and cooling and pulsing and lights to help your serums and your masks work better. It just seems really interesting. I just wanted to like show you that there was a new one out there. I'm sure there are differences between this one and the old one, um, but I love my Foreo Luna Mini. Um, and I've always been interested in the UFO, so I might like save up my money and get one eventually because I love like sheet masks and stuff and this would be fun to like use on top of that. So it looks really interesting um, and I know people like love these things almost as much as I love my Foreo. So it looks really interesting. It comes in three different colors in case you know you want a specific color. I do love this mint color. <laughs> I know that might seem silly because it's just a color, but I do. 
All right, another beauty product, makeup product. This is from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the new Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint. There's not much from Fenty Beauty that I've like been super interested in. I know some people love a lot of their stuff. There's just nothing I've been like, that sounds amazing and I really want to try it. Um, but then this came out and it really does sound amazing and I do really want to try it. So it's $29.50. It looks like there's 25 shades. It just looks really pretty. I love like a skin tint. I'm all about like the light, medium coverage sort of things. Um, it says this is a lightweight, buildable, light to medium coverage that skin tint that leaves the skin looking blurred, smooth, um, and flexible shades for all. So it just looks like a really interesting product. Definitely tons of shade options for a lot of different skin tones. Um, I mean, that darkest shade is very deep. Um, and because it's a lighter coverage, you could definitely like stretch these shades out a little bit. And I just love a tint on my skin. So it just looks like a really interesting one. And like I said, this is kind of the first thing for Fenty Beauty that I was like super interested in. Okay, so this is a new brand to me at Sephora. This is... Sai, I think is how you say it. Um, this is their Dewy Blush Liquid Cheek Blush. It's a lot of blush in one sentence. This brand, again, kind of looked a little bit more on the affordable side. Definitely not as affordable as like LYS is, but not as expensive as some of the other brands Sephora has. This is $22 um, for a liquid blush. I don't think that's that bad. You don't use it that much of it, so it's gonna last you a while. But this just looked really pretty, um, and the shades looked beautiful. This uh, color Poppy, the bright coral looks, would be so pretty for summer. It says it's a water-based gel blush with creamy buildable formula that gives the skin a healthy flush of seamless color. It looks like it's got some good skincare ingredients in it as well. It just looks like a really interesting product from this new brand. Some of their other stuff didn't look quite as interesting to me, but the blush really stood out and I just think it looks really pretty and interesting. And um, there's definitely like a bunch of shades. You, a lot of different skin tones could use this. Like this shade Peachy looks really light. Then if you have a very pale skin tone, like you could totally pull that off, which is awesome. So it looks really pretty and interesting from a new brand. Okay, something from the Sephora collection that looked really pretty. The Sephora collection always interests me because it's so much cheaper than everything else that Sephora carries there. So yeah, I don't know. It just looks really interesting. This is called the Flushed Blush and it kind of reminded me of those Maybelline Cheek Heats that are like fairly new. I think they're probably about a year old now, but it's like the same packaging, that same like kind of tube, squeezy tube with a twist off lid. They look very similar. So I'm curious to see if these work any better. I know the Cheek Heats had some people not liking them. They didn't work very well. They faded um, and they were more like a jelly texture. This one said it's a whipped cream texture um, that melts into the skin for a natural healthy glow. It just looks really interesting and I love all the new cream blushes that are coming out because I just, I love a cream blush. So this one just looked really interesting and Sephora collection is always so much more affordable than a lot of the other things at Sephora. So always worth a look because they tend to be good products too. They tend to work really well. So it's a good place to look. Um, so the next thing is from NARS. They have come back out. I think they do this like every summer. It's always limited edition. Um, their mini bronzer and blush set. Um, but I don't remember it always coming with a brush. So this is a mini travel size of the Laguna bronzer and the orgasm blush as well as a brush. And I just, NARS always has good products. Their blush and bronzer, especially these two are like iconic. So it's fun to see them come back out every year as like a limited edition mini set. It's a little bit cheaper and you can try them out for a little bit more affordable price point. And I think it's cool that there's a brush included this year. Like I said, I don't think there's always a brush included, but this set is $39. They say the value is 52, so. It just looks like an interesting set if you ever wanted to try those two products. Okay, something definitely new from NARS that looks really interesting and like um, kind of like the Tan de Soleil from Chanel that everyone's like obsessed with. This is their Sun Kissed Bronzer Cream. It's in very similar packaging, kind of that like big clear acrylic with a twist top, but it looks like it might be uh 
kind of like the same sort of idea as that Chanel one that I'm sure is a lot more expensive than the $38 that NARS is going to charge you. It also comes in two different shades that the Chanel one does not. Um, so it has a Laguna one, which is a light medium brown, and also has Casino, which is a medium brown color, which looks actually pretty dark to me. But it looks gorgeous. Um, it says it's a limited edition cream to powder bronzing hybrid that gives you a skin, gives skin a soft matte finish and sun-kissed warmth. So yeah, it literally sounds like that Chanel one. So maybe if you don't want to get the Chanel one, this one might be a good like alternative for a little bit less. Um, but it just looks really pretty and right on my alley. I just love cream products, so really interesting. And then the last thing from NARS that looked really interesting was their Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette. Again, this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette, but it looks gorgeous. It's $49, which for nine shadows does come seem kind of expensive to me, but these shades are right on my alley, kind of that warm sunset, almost like the colors I'm wearing in my eyes now. Just like those warm kind of sunset colors look gorgeous to me. And I just would be really interested. That'd be a great travel palette, I think, um, cause it's not super big. It just looks really pretty and like right up my alley. Like I said, it just, <sighs> they always come out with all these like limited edition things for summer, but this one, has been my favorite to look at so far. So seriously considering that because it's, it's really pretty. All right, and the final thing is from Paula's Choice. This is a 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. I just picked this one because I just wanted to let you know that Paula's Choice is now at Sephora. Um, I don't think everything's there, but definitely some of their most popular things like their 2% BHA exfoliating liquid is there, this is there. So if you're looking to try Paula's Choice, it's a little bit easier to get it now because um, you can place an order at Sephora instead of on Paula's Choice website. Um, I don't know if they carry this stuff. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's in store as well. So um, just a little bit easier to get your hands on. I haven't tried their azelaic acid booster yet, um, but I love azelaic acid. The only reason I haven't tried it is because it has salicylic acid in it as well. And I'm trying to like avoid salicylic acid right now. Just has been irritating my skin, so I haven't been using it as often. Um, but this one looks awesome. And I just want to let you know that Paula's Choice is now at Sephora. So that is awesome. All right, so that is everything. I know it was a lot of stuff. There was just so many good things to come out at Sephora right now. Um, so hopefully you saw something that maybe you want to pick up. If there's something at Sephora that you're like looking at, let me know what it is. I'm very curious what you guys are like dreaming about getting at Sephora, also anywhere, what it's like on your wish list right now. Please leave me a comment and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and help me reach my thousand subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.